welcome to the channel if you're new here welcome back if you've been here before i think it's fair to say that on this trip over the past 10 days i found some amazing overnighting spots and today is no different i'm up in the lake district and i've got grassmere mountain in front of me the buttermere lake behind me and just awesome stunning views and vistas all around but I'm going to be leaving the Lake District today and I'm going to be heading further north. But first, I thought I might have one last little look around the Lake District before I leave. There's a hike over near Lowe's Lake, which is a three mile hike up into the fells and dales, which should give us really nice vistas and views down. And then after that, I think we're going to head up and explore the Solway Coast. First, I've got to organise this mess in here and then we can get on the road. It should be a great one today. The weather's sporadic but doable and the areas are going to be amazing. Oh wow, we're really nearly there and I haven't seen very much in terms of parking spaces got my fingers crossed this, this doesn't look great for parking around here I've got to be honest oh wow we're a hundred meters from the spot apparently and I'm not seeing much in terms of parking I hope this guy here look I mean that kind of looks like a passing spot oh no it's full as well two cars oh you could definitely have got three cars in there mate this is uh, this is not good Maybe we can get away with parking here. It looks a bit iffy. Maybe if I get right up on the mud. Damn it, this is not great. I don't like spots like this. Oh man, I'm, I've got a feeling I'm right in the mud here. This could be difficult getting out. Let's have a look. Oh dear. I'm not sure I want to go too much further forward though. I'm not sure I'll get out of that mud. Boy. Oh wow, some of these hikes and spots are just so limited for parking and yeah it's one of those i think i'm gonna risk it for a biscuit and stay here it's only an hour and a half hike we're just gonna get right up here into these hills and dales looking back down it should be fantastic well looks like this parking spot might have actually been a bit of a blessing in disguise so it looks like my trail cuts about half a mile down that way and then cuts all the way back up to basically up there I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a gate at the top of that field, so I should be able to shuft you through. I'm not too fussed either, cutting a little bit off the trail. I'm pretty drained today after yesterday. And I just realised I only ate a camembert and about three slices of toast last night. And I've had an egg sandwich this morning, so yeah, a little bit low on the energy levels. Fear not though, because I've got quite a lot of mouldy meat. And when I say mouldy, it's probably because it's been in there for about a week and a half that bacon's got a bit of a strange looking color to it so yeah i might be able to muster something up in there tonight and hopefully i won't get too much of a dicky belly from it so right let's get ourselves up there oh okay i'm not going to show you me coughing and spluttering and spitting but this is not the best start to the trail <coughs> it's still in my throat i can feel it hang on you see there's a lot of sheep around here and they leave a lot of poo and flies like poo and they buzz around the area and i've just swallowed one it's stuck in my throat here i can feel it and it's been on the poo and on top of that i put clean trousers on this morning that was a good idea wasn't it i figured i wouldn't need me waterproof so any other sort of trousers today because it's nice and sunny and dry well, I've just come for a really boggy patch and it's splashed up on my trousers like a cow pat so oh, oh, I still need to get this thing out of my throat Bear with. oh wow I really really wish I'd brought some shorts with me on this trip and look I'm wearing thermal leggings as well <sighs> sun's absolutely blazing on me and bad news I can't get this thing out of my throat. There's only one thing for it. Yeah, I got it straight away. It was hanging on. Ugh. Oh well, down into the belly. I guess was, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, I guess, eh? <sighs> if I don't release this vlog, it was that little 
insect that did it. <laughs> but in all honesty, even though we've only climbed or walked, hiked 200 meters, wow. It's already impressive. Beautiful day. And well worth cutting that little bit out actually, because I think this is kind of like the start of the circular. So once I come back down, I can just cut straight down that little field. So it's all good. Let's go see what it holds. I should say actually the trail I'm doing, it's actually called the Darling Fell Trail or circular, 2.6 miles. And because I've just looked at the trail up, I didn't realize it's got nearly a thousand feet of elevation. It might be short, but it's definitely steep. It's not what I'm looking for today. I was hoping for a lowland thing. I guess I wanted the views. You've got to get up. <laughs> Nightmare. <sighs> Great, 500 meters into the trail and already another disaster. These trousers have got no pockets to put my blooming phone in, so I've had it in my bag. And I assume this trail just went all the way around in a circular. I mean, I saw a sty a minute ago. It was kind of a bit of a clue. But I decided not to take it. Yeah, only 300 metres to cut back. <laughs> it's even got steps going up to it. I mean, how much of a clue did I need? Well, more good news this time. That sign behind me says it's only three quarters of a mile to where I'm going. But uh, <laughs> I'm holding the camera really low, hoping you can get the angling because that's pretty steep. It's going to be a long three quarters of a mile. <sighs> oh wow, they're off. I don't want to show me pants or anything, but uh, <laughs> long johns. I can't cope anymore. It's too hot. Sun's out. This hill's seriously steep, and I'm wearing way too many layers, so yeah, they're off. And my legs can breathe a little bit. Pretty good as well. Very, very nearly at the top. And we should get some spectacular views. I think we're going to be able to see over to the coastline. I mean, I can see it already. I think that's the Isle of Man over there. So yeah, get to the top and you should be able to see all the way around. Fingers crossed. Whew. Wow, that was easily one of the steepest 1,000 foot sections I've done in a long time, but it's given the views behind and I can see sneaky peaks on both sides, pretty close to the top. I think it's gonna be well worth it. Oh, this is difficult. I'm trying to walk up looking for the spot where it's gonna be the best for a panorama, but it looks like there's so many. I'll tell you what, this is not a bad little spot for it. Whew. With a stunning shot down into Lowe's Tarn or Lowe's Lake. Oh, wow. Cormac water over the way and all the peaks in the distance. And hopefully, I think it is, where I'm heading tonight, Solway Coast, right over yonder. That's pretty stunning, eh? It looks, for all intents and purposes, Oh, there might be a few trails that cut down and further afield. It might be able to link up a big circular route at some point, but yeah, not for today. Today's just about this and this view. Wow. I'm gonna cut back the same way I went. I decided not to, and I tell you what, I'm really glad I haven't. Look at this, this is amazing. All the way down into Crummock, and possibly one of the most amazing wild camping spots I've ever seen. The guy's out with his kid here, man. Fantastic. Says he's camped on all these peaks around here. He's never done this spot, so what a day and a night for it. Woo. Might have to put that one on the list for a later date. Could be a good one. I'm not too jealous. I was just saying to that guy as well though, now that I've changed my vehicle and I've not got the Zaffy, I've not got the roof box. I normally used to put like at least some wild camping gear in the roof box. So from away on these trips and I fancy a wild camping night, I can, but yeah, I've not got it sorted for this car yet. I have got a roof box and I have got rails. I think the priority when I get back is just to get the footer and the fittings I think they are that I need so it's a bit of a weird one my car it's a t-section they're quite rare I think from what I've been told but yeah should be able to get it sorted and then we do some more wild camping in the summertime Whew. in spots like that God, Bennett. it's an oil paying Woo. 
Oh, I don't think I've been so drained from a short two and a half mile hike ever before. I really feel exhausted. It was quite steep, but I'm really, really chuffed I did it. I've done three hikes while I've been up in the Lake Districts, and the first two were pretty much clouded over. So to get up there with blue skies and views today is fantastic. But more importantly for now, the Solway Coast. The spot I'm going to be heading to is a place called Beckford, which is possibly a couple of miles before the official area of natural beauty of Solway. But that whole area is the same sort of topography and landscape, so it's sharing the same bit. And Beckford's literally within spitting distance of it. The thing with it is, it's sort of one road that stretches all the way up the coastline there. And as far as Park for Night's concerned, there's about five or six really good looking spots that should be out to overnight at. There is, however, one little far paw that I need to throw into the mix. It's quarter past four at the minute, and in 15 minutes' time, the Manchester United and Newcastle game starts on the TV. So I'd really like to try and find a phone signal and watch that. If not when I get up there, before I get up there, so. And a couple of supplies, hopefully, on the way, if we can find somewhere to stop. I'm doing a lot of talking, and we're running out of time. I think we should get on the way. Come rain, wash away all the strife. Some rain is just what we need in this life. Nightmare. I've just had to stop. Oh, he's done it again. Oh, he's doing it again. Ah, oh, the phone's going mad. Uh, one minute it's telling me a route and then it's flicking off, it's lost connection, it doesn't know where it's going. This is quite worrying. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere, I don't know where I am. Ah, uh, yeah, the screen just went black. Let's hope it decides to stay with me. I do not understand what's going on with that. I mean, it's one thing being in the middle of nowhere on really dodgy bumble fluff roads. Uh, and then there's another thing with not knowing exactly where you are because you haven't got a single map or sat nav. That's not great. You could just be going around in circles looking for a main A road. Right, it's all getting a bit serious now. It's half past four and the football started and there's a phone signal. So I'm literally just looking for a lay by somewhere. Pretty close, pretty quick. I want to watch the football. <laughs> I've not watched a game for so long. I want mine today. The <laughs> Solway can wait. Oh, parking space. Here we go. Let's just hope there's a phone signal at this spot. This is a bit of a random spot to start, but needs must. It's only an hour and a half. It's still summertime. We'll have light when it's finished. Two hours later. Well, there's two hours of my life I'm never going to get back. We lost 2-0. We didn't even turn up, if I'm honest. But the good news is we're a little bit closer to the spot and I found a petrol station so I can pick up some supplies. The weather is fantastic as well. Sun's coming down and hopefully we'll get a sunset over the ocean. Well, just getting down to the road where all the spots are and I'm already getting a great vibe. Look how close to the ocean this road runs like within meters. I've got a feeling there's probably gonna be a number of spots along here. Wow, golf course up against the ocean. That's pretty spectacular. Look at this. This is the spots we're looking at, these type of things here. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Just little sort of pullings off the road and spits of sand or something to, to park up on. Oh, wow. I'm excited. Alone be or something this place is called. Look at this little church here. This is amazing. All down this coastline, I've been watching people. There's like a big long beach walk, and it kind of looks like it's tarmac as well. And people are like biking along it and skating along it. It looks pretty good. Ooh, 30 mile an hour speed limit. I think you need to slow down. Well, but you're not going to see much, but we're coming up to the first spot. It's about half a mile away. There's a couple of villages around here, like kind of sizable villages. I thought there would be a lot less. In a quarter of a mile, your destination will be on the left. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. And there's a bin. Uh, is it flat? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hang on a minute. I've got to say it. Wow. I really hope the sun's not blowing you out. Ah, it's one of the most stunning views I've ever seen from a car camping spot. That is amazing. Wow. I think what I'm going to do quickly is because there's three other spots, like I said, up here. I'm going to drive up to the fourth one 
and I'm going to take a look at the other two along the way and just choose which one I want to stay at. I mean, this spot here would be absolutely perfect. That view, I can have that out my side window all night. So, yeah, we've got time. Let's just go and have a little scope around and see what else there is. Okay, I'm going to kind of hold my hands up. Um, I didn't see the other two spots, but this is the fourth one somewhere here. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I might not bother with this one. Um, yeah, this is definitely it as well. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that first spot was 100% the best spot. Let's just get back there. I mean, there's absolutely no view from this spot, so yeah, first spot's a winner. Ah, um, I kind of found another spot. Looks a bit off roady and a little bumpy and humper. I don't like it. It's not got a view. I kind of wish I'd turned down it. Go <laughs> like that. No, that first spot's most definitely the best one. We just hope somebody's not pinched me spot now. Ah, oh, nightmare. Somebody's just pulling in and pinching me spot. Mate, there's a few people in there. Got it. Oh man, that's uh, it's busy, popular area. I'm guessing with the locals, to be honest. I'll put myself next to the bin then. <laughs> oh well. I've got to say, we've had some great spots on this trip, but wow, that is one of the best views ever. I think I'm going to have a little bumble on the beach and have a look. Whew. I'll tell you what. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> ah, <yeah. laughs> this is a step there. Um, no, it stinks. This is horrific. It smells like the bins, mate. Oh, it's got the view. It's got a phone signal. It stinks. Oh, I'm just thinking, actually. I'm getting those senses going on in my nose. It's not fins, it's countryside. I've just realised it's all farm fields at the back. It must be manure and such, but... Wow! It's a real special evening as well with that sunset. I'm so glad we got it. All the shadows it's casting on the water. Are... <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Can't get over it. Last time I was up here, I was kind of over that way near Dumfries and Galloway. So to be in the English spot now is pretty cool. Didn't have that view of, well, I am assuming it's the Isle of Man. It's in the right area, I think. Cool. I'll get cursed if it's not, but I think I'm just gonna take some time and enjoy this now and relax. And then think about getting some food on later on tonight. Okay, I'm gonna come clean before I cook any food. Oh, I've just spoke to a few locals and um, no, that isn't the Isle of Man, is it? That's Scotland. And they were saying, I should know because I've been there, but over on the right you've got Anan, and then it's Dumfries and Galloway in the middle, I think, and then, yeah, stretches all the way around to, I forget the lighthouse over the way that I went to view, but you are not going to see it, but there is a little sort of bump over there, which is the Isle of Man. But yeah, I just wanted to clear that up, you know, all them comments telling me that I got it wrong. I know, I know. Right, let's get some food together. Well, all the cars around here have disappeared. There's a little bit of passing traffic and the sun's finally gone down. It's been amazing just sitting here and getting on the beach and enjoying this view. But I'm getting hungry. I'm hoping I can put something together that's not going to leave me running around tomorrow in search of public toilets all day. I mean, the thing with it is... Obviously, I've got the compressor fridge, but I've been turning it off a little bit over the past couple of days, just trying to conserve power. Um, so, yeah, things that have been in here a long while, like bacon and sausages, I'll probably give a miss. I think I've got a bit of mince meat that I used a couple of nights ago, so that might be all right. And maybe some veggies. Uh, they might... Some of them might be okay. I do also have the ingredients to make a pie. I've got some puff pastry in that fridge. I think it might just be about still in date. The only thing with it is, I don't really like pastry or pies. And this stewing steak, well, it was the cheapest one in the shop. And I've got to be honest, I've tried them before. Uh, and it's probably not really much like steak. It's probably more like dog meat, if I'm honest. So, yeah, I, I promised I was going to make it on the series on this trip. Um, I lied. I don't think I'm going to make it. But I am going to do this tonight instead. Honestly, it, the last time I tried it, it was like dog meat. It was horrific. So, yeah, mince meat or mince pork. <laughs> Learning something new every day. I don't have a decent way of cleaning the mushrooms, so I'm shaving them. 
<laughs> with a knife. Oh dear, I guess it'll work. I just don't want to eat all that dirt. And they are still usable, so looks good. Not many of them though. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Some of this is brown and some of it's still pink. <sighs> bit of a disaster, but let's put a bit of colour in there. Some onions, mushrooms, red and... I was going to say green, but <laughs> yellow peppers. To be honest, I guess I could leave it like that. A sort of a minced beef and onion special. Even though it's not minced beef, it's pork, but... I think I'm going to add some pasta sauce. I've still got some left, so I really wish I had my uh, sort of shield that goes around the cooker with me. I think I've got it somewhere, but I don't know. I haven't really got time to look for it right now. Oh, wow. I need a bit of heat. Really spitting. Nobody likes a spitter. Nearly there. Just a little more heat. I was just thinking about this spot, you know, and all these spots down here. I think it should be all right around here. It's uh, it's pretty rural. There are spits of villages along this road. I thought it'd be more of a like country road, more of a windy country road, but it seems to be more of a main A road. Uh, this village up here's probably only got about 30, 40 houses. I can't see anybody coming down here and bothering you. It's all over park for night, these spots. It's been used loads, or they've all been used loads. I don't know if recently, but I guess there's always the potential for somebody dodgy to pull up. And there's always the potential for the police to pull up and see what you're up to. So hopefully it should be an all right night. And I think that is also about ready to serve. So there it is, served. <laughs> I'm not going to put it on a plate. If I put it on a plate, it's just going to create more mess for me to cook. So yeah, I'm going to eat it out the pan. And I guess I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Should be right. I'm gonna wake up with the ocean next to me and a beach. Oops, I better turn that gas off before I burn the roof. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, and honestly, it's pretty good, even though it's just leftovers. There's no way I can start the uh, morning video in the car today. Look at the weather. Summertime has landed on the Solway. Absolutely magnificent. I've been sat here for about two hours this morning, just on the beach, enjoying the view and relaxing, had a couple of coffees and just mulling over this trip. And I've got to be honest, I think this has probably been, if not the best trip I've ever done, definitely one of them. I'm so sorry I didn't go to Cornwall. It would have been such a nightmare. And to have found so many amazing spots on this trip. Ah, oh, just words can't express how happy I am that I didn't go to Cornwall. But I think this is going to be the best point to end the episode with Scotland in the backdrop. This is going to be my last destination today. I think we're going to explore the area and then slowly head back to Leicester. But as always, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. I love reading all those. A big thanks to subscribers, members, donators on Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal. Without you, this would not be happening the way it is. And as always, take it easy, enjoy the camp and stay stealthy.